Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how to install and how to use uh, Lynx web browser, which is text-based web browser. It comes in handy sometimes. Okay, press this app button right here. Click app button, cloud, browse. Then you type in Lynx. And you see these two lines right here. On boot and click go button right here and you are ready to go. Click X and uh, your terminal right here. So uh, you type in links and uh, type in website which you wanted to use. In my case it's Google. So now you see a uh, Google front page for like you know, searching stuff and like that. Now you can move these yellow uh, things going up and down. So you press these arrow keys. Keep clicking the uh, bottom arrow keys and uh, it will allow you to move around and now you can search for whatever you want. Type in Tiny Core Linux and click enter and enter again now uh, the links will looking up um, google for you know tiring core linux right now and sometimes it lags i don't know why but unable to connect remote to host okay now type enter again and type yes and type yes sometimes it doesn't work and it sucks and it really sucks okay now it works finally and uh, you press arrow button on the right arrow button and uh, you can use tap button to move around and uh, click whatever you want you see no more links use arrow key or return to activate so i'm gonna use red arrow button yes yes okay you went the wrong way so uh, you use left arrow button to go back return Yes, yes, or you go back again. Okay, uh, links can be really a uh, pain on the test sometimes. It doesn't work like the way you meant to be. But now you uh, can finally click this Tinicore Linux homepage, press enter, and now you're inside Tinicore Linux homepage, right? Screen is kind of like this small. So if you want, you can maximize it. So now use arrow keys to move around, like press top and bottom arrow keys and now press enter for intro. Wow. Well, now here it is. So uh, you press spacebar for like page two and page three and stuff like that. And if you wanted to quit, just press, you know, Q button on the keyboard and press yes. And now you're done. So uh, now you get the idea of how to use links. And uh, I would recommend to use Chrome browser, but sometimes links can be handy if you don't have graphical user interface. So please use Chrome, unless you really have to use links. Anyway, that's it for today. Bye.